Hey, in today's video, we're gonna go over my vision board. I was getting a few questions from Instagram and all over once I shared this. So we're gonna dive right into it. And I'm also gonna talk about why I highly suggest you create one just like this. Well, not exactly like it. Create it however you want it. Because if you understand and you're clear on what you want in your life, it's so much easier to take the actions necessary every single day to move you closer towards the goal. The issue we have is we don't think big enough and we don't know exactly what we want. So if we can figure out what we want and then think bigger, then you're well on your way and we are all well on our way to achieving our wildest dreams. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And subscribe for more videos just like this, portfolio updates, so we can all grow our wealth together. Let's dive right into the video. First thing, we are going to identify this right here, $1 billion net worth by age 50, 2046. I can achieve this if I average 30% returns each year for the next 26 years. I'm 24 years old. I have about 1.4 million. If we get 30% per year on that, that gets us over 1 billion. That's how I got that. So my plan is to go for 30% gains a year. I know it's aggressive, but that's a goal. Bottom left, Forbes 30 under 30 in either finance or entrepreneurship. That is my goal, to be recognized as the top 30 under 30. 1 million a month in passive income. I realized I can get that through stock market investing with my strategies once I get to about 20 million or more invested in the market. So that one is a huge goal of mine. And the reason for the numbers is, in my opinion, 1 million a month means money will not matter to me whatsoever or my entire family. That is a substantial enough amount in my mind that I can do literally anything I want and I will still have money and money won't be the issue because for me personally, I never want anyone in my life to ever have to say no to something due to money. So the solution is to have so much that it doesn't matter. And then I can donate a lot to charity. That's the thinking behind the 1 billion because in my eyes, once I get to 1 billion or more, I'll be able to make so much gains each year and be able to donate so much because Imagine 10% gains on a billion. We are talking about 100 million in one year. Think of how much that could be donated to such amazing causes. Then we have here the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Roadster. This is a convertible Lamborghini SVJ. It's about $700,000 Canadian. I personally love this color as well. The gray to me looks the cleanest in Lamborghinis. I'm not a huge flashy person. I love the colors. That's just a dream car for me. I love the sound, everything about it. So to me, that represents so much. I love cars and that one is huge for me. I don't believe I'll be able to afford that for a number of years down the road, but it's definitely like the pinnacle of, of beauty and car, ideal car for me. Over here is the Tesla Roadster, which I actually do plan on buying as soon as this is available. This will be about $250,000 Canadian, fastest vehicle on the road. We're talking about zero to 60 in less than 1.9 seconds. It will be the fastest production car ever and could be released in 2022, most likely 2023. That's what I'm putting in, in my head. So I plan on owning this in you know two years or so once it comes out. Then we have travel plans here. I have a list of about 50 places that I'd like to go. We're talking about Dubai, uh, places in Australia, all over Europe, Spain, all these places, right? I want to visit so many different places, a lot of states in the US. So as soon as we get some level of normalcy, that's huge for me because I don't know where I want to live yet. So I know I need to travel and explore so many places to be able to decide that. Up here, this is the, this is Miami Beach, but the symbol of this, what I want is a beach house or to live somewhere near the beach where there's warm weather. So either I live in Canada and you know, when the winters come, I go to my beach house in Miami or whatever, wherever I want to go, or I, you know, own a place somewhere where it's always warm all year round and uh, I live there near a beach or there's warm weather. To me, that's huge for my relaxation. I'm a huge, you know, I love the warmth, I'm not a fan of the cold of the winters in Canada. So that one's huge for me. And top left here, this one is extremely important to me. This represents having friends all around the world. You know, this is my TRM family, you know, with my, with my business coaching, because I help trainers and coaches grow their income. And I also work with my business coach as an assistant to do that. These are some friends I met at music festivals at Tomorrowland. Um, this is my best friends, best friends at music festivals, best friends. So what I want to do is I want to have really close friends all around the world where I can go and visit these places and, you know, stay with these friends and, you know, I just have relationships everywhere because 
that to me is huge. Just relationships are everything at the end of the day. You know, my family, my friends, you know, all these people, people are at the end of the day are what's most important. So I would love to have close friends all around the world. And this is last, but definitely not least. These are my top 10 values. I have these posted because I want to be reminded to live by this every single day. My top 10 values, growth, self-discipline, courage, gratitude, empathy, consistency, honesty, initiative, personal responsibility, and self-awareness. Now, these are the most important things to me and what I want to live both by. So, so number one, growth. That means I want to be putting myself into uncomfortable scenarios to grow. So I want to do things I'm afraid of all the time. If I get too complacent, I need to be reminded, hey, am I growing here? No, do something different. Self-discipline, I'll be exercising that daily, building that muscle so it's easier to force myself to do things I don't want to do in the moment because I believe one of the most valuable skills in life is to be able to force yourself to do things you don't want to do because there's a lot of things where you, know, you don't want to do something, but you force yourself to do it and it pays off down the road. You can. There's so many examples of that and we can go down the list. This is my vision board and this is what's most important to me right now at the age of 24. This could change over the years for sure. This could change, but this is what I... And most inspired by right now. And I look at this every single day and it, it gets me inspired to keep pushing towards my goals and achieve more and, and creating the life I want. And that's what's most important at the end of the day. Which one of these do you resonate with the most? Which do you find, you know, kind of appeals to you? Leave in the comments below. I'm curious. Is it the Lamborghini? Is it the friends all over the world? Is it the 1 million a month in passive income? Maybe it's my values. Leave it in the comments below. Which one do you resonate most with? Subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one.